G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Alright, Friday afternoon here in Australia and the market has come down as I sort of suspected it would and we are under that $2 trillion mark. As I've said, I think we're coming down to $1.7-ish trillion, possibly even down to $1.34-ish trillion. Now we'll have to wait and see, but we are under the $2 trillion mark and this is, you know, this is where it gets scary from here, but this could be Max Payne. That is the thing. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Dominance up. Again, people getting out of altcoins are starting to panic. Bitcoin is the safe haven if there is one in a market that's going down. Volume is up though. So again, people, uh, you know, money's coming in. But again, we've seen this. It comes in when it's like this, pumps up a little bit, and then over the next few days, it eventually goes down again. Bitcoin price is under 40,000, 39,000, nearly under 39,000, and gas prices rising a little bit. And that's because people jumping into stable coins and things, I would say, most likely. A bit of panic going on. All right, we are down, what is it, 6.6%. So what's done well in the last 24 hours, if anything? There's usually outliers. There we go. <laughs> Leo is held all right at $3 and outside of that, not much at all. Everything is just tumbling at the moment. Down, down, down and down it all goes. All right. What has performed the worst in the last 24 hours in the top 100, of course? There we go. Uh, Pocket Network, Loop Ring, Aave. Now, I like this price at $184. That's not to say it's going to go lower, but around that 181 sort of 69 mark, I like Aave. But again, that's it's never financial advice, ladies and gentlemen. It's just simply based on, you know... <laughs> The charts really having a look at the charts, it's where at where it's been could go a whole lot lower. But sand way down, so there you go, three dollars something. Engine down at a dollar ninety eight. Zcash, I mean, look, double digit losses just across the board. Look at it, just continues to go. You got to come down to 27 or something like that before you start getting into the single digits, and then there are even high single digits. So things aren't looking pretty. But is this that final shakeout? We can only hope so. Let's have a look at the Bitcoin chart, though. This is what I have said for a long time. That if we... Oh, my God. Look at it now. It really is plunging. This keeps jumping around. Now, I'll let you know. I put in a little buy order. Uh, not a buy order. I bought some Bitcoin at $40,000. $480 so still back up sort of around about here uh, and I bought some Ethereum at $2,969 or something like that now it was only small amounts because I'm not sure where this is going to go but look at it. it is just tumbling right now like I said before I reckon a good buy order is somewhere here about 37,000 sort of 500 now, again, never financial advice, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not saying this is the bottom. I just think we're going to get down to somewhere here pretty quick. But this could be it. We'll have to wait and see. But then I think another good buy order is going to be just above $34,500 because that's where the CME gap is. And I get the feeling like that's where we're going to come down and cover. But also because if we go to the CME gap at $33,500, that's a 50% correction from the top. That is where things are looking pretty juicy for me. Now, there's no guarantees we make it down to here, and there's no guarantees that this is the bottom. So just keep that in mind. I'm just letting you know what I'm doing. I bought a little bit of Bitcoin and Ethereum literally only an hour ago. I've got some more buy orders down here for Bitcoin and down here for Bitcoin, and I'll do the same with Ethereum and things like that because this is where the prices are starting to get juicy. And, I mean, this is just really starting to tumble at the moment. It is moving for it's moving pretty quick. So again, this could be the bottom. This could be that final capitulation and it could pitch all the way down into here. Now, is it going to do it today? I don't know. Is it going to be this one big candle? I doubt it. We could have a candle like this though, where there's a lot of body, but an even bigger wick. So again, this could wick all the way down to here. Just keep an eye out, but also don't put all your eggs in one basket thinking, oh, well, that CME gap is probably going to be the bottom. We'd hope it's the bottom, but if it's not, oh, things will get really kind of crazy. So the Bitcoin chart is just these things that I'm seeing in the chart. They just, it makes me, 
semi-confident that if we're going to find a bottom, it's going to be somewhere down around about here. But look, I've been wrong before and I'll be wrong again. As I said, here's the Ethereum chart and I showed you this the other day. I said if we break, I reckon we're coming down to 2,600. Now I bought some at 2,969, so just sort of around about here uh, and it's already fallen through and gone a couple of hundred dollars cheaper. I'm fine with that. I put a tweet out just before and I said DCA on the way down. That's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, again, I'm never telling you what to do. I'm just DCAing on the way down, bit by bit, slowly but surely. Because once it starts to come back up, every time it gets to a point where you were buying, your gains then become exponential after that. So that is my, I, I, I love buying when it's going down. I really do. That is when I'd rather buy it. Because once it does go back up, and look, it may take four years, ladies and gentlemen, that is a very scary thought. But if you stick solid with the good projects, when they turn around, again, that's when you're going to do really well. It's You've got to fight that human psychology. We don't want to buy when things are going down. We want to buy when things are going up. And unfortunately, that means it's got to be at all-time highs. And it's just, unfortunately, it's crazy. I'm not saying now's the best time to buy. I'm not saying things couldn't get a whole lot worse. I'm just saying I'd rather buy things when they're at big discounts. Ethereum is at 2800 It's been as high as basically, you know, we can round that up to $5,000. It's nearly half price, ladies and gentlemen. I'm in. I'm buying. Again, am I going crazy? Absolutely not. I'm just chipping away at it little bit by little bit because this could go down to $1,800. I have no idea where it's going to. But on the good projects that I like, I'm going to continue to buy on the way down. Now, the total crypto market cap, like I said, this is what I was keeping an eye out for. Look at it now. It's already getting to, down to where I thought it would come down to about 1.75, 1.74 sort of trillion dollar mark. We've been here before. If we don't find a bottom here, sorry, go over here, then I really do think we're going to get down to somewhere around about here. The 1.5 to one point kind of three four trillion dollar mark and again that's you know this marries up fairly well with the bitcoin chart and again the cme gap is down at kind of thirty two and a half to thirty four and a half thousand that'll be somewhere down around here that's where i would expect not expect but i would be you know reasonably hopeful that we'll find a bottom there i just don't know if we'll see the big 80 90 percent corrections ever again Unless we're truly going into a recession and everyone panics to get into the dollar, then yep, absolutely we could. Outside of that, the institutional money is here now. I just don't know if they're going to let it go down that far. I think they're going to be buying it all the way down in bits and pieces. But I could be completely wrong. All right. S&P 500. Have a look at this. Look where we've already come down. We've already broken these lines. So I reckon the S&P 500 is going to come down to around about, again, the 4300 50-ish dollar mark thereabouts and that's a 10% correction that's a pretty big correction in the S&P 500 but again just goes to show you in case someone's trying to tell you see cryptos are shit and they're all dumping and blah 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 all my all markets are dumping at the moment every single one everyone's panicked and in a scare and all the rest of it uh, this is when I like to buy but I don't know when the bottom is so I don't go super crazy at any one price I just keep chipping away. Like I said, Dow Jones Industrial Average, look where we have come down to. Now, I'm hoping that it'll find some support again around the kind of 3,000, or sorry, 33,605 uh, mark. And that again will be about a 10% correction. So that's a pretty big correction. But what's scary is if that doesn't hold, there's really not a lot down here. There's a little bit in there, but then we might be coming all the way down here. And a lot of people have said, well, not a lot of people, but anyway, some smart people have said that they believe, you know, all markets, and particularly the S&P 500, needs a 20% correction to kind of correct all the crazy stuff that's happened with the printing and things like that. Well, the S&P 500 and a 20% retracement, unfortunately, that brings us all the way down into here, kind of the 4,000s, even into uh, the 3,000, I think, uh, would probably be, yeah, down in around about, somewhere there let's have a look let's i can get rid of mine so we've currently got that there already 
what would a 20% correction on the S&P 500 be? Can I even get a... There we go. 20% correction. Yep, 30, you know, roughly 3,833. I mean, look at that. That is massive. Whew. That'll be quite scary. And again, I think that brings Bitcoin way down into here. Could be even lower. All right. A couple of news, project, uh, news stories I want to look at. So Solana NFT project rug pulls investors for $1.3 million. It was in Solana, 9,000 Solana. And this is after the NFT group that brought it to you. So it was called the Big Daddy A Club. Everyone's trying to copy uh, the other ones. They were verified by Civic Pass Program. So basically it verified who the members were and things like that. And now uh, that program is currently working with law enforcement to try and catch up with the people that did this. So this is unfortunately why you know regulation is needed because at the moment this is it's not that it's not a crime but there's just no real law and regulation behind it and it's too easy for people to come and do this i mean i personally wouldn't be buying anything that's a copy of something else i'm sure other people have made some great uh, gains on things that have but i'd be looking for new projects not something that's trying to copy the board a yacht club you know that's already been done that done extremely well something that's a copy of it uh, is no guarantee to do well but i'm sure people have flipped nfts for plenty of money all right seg seg sec have rejected skybridge's application for a spot bitcoin etf so they rejected it very quickly now it's not all bad news they've rejected a number of them but there's two that are still going through so spot bitcoin etfs one is grayscales and the other one is the uh, nyd group and now the nyd group one got uh knocked back just last saturday not knocked back sorry delayed last saturday and it's now expected till march and i get the feeling like uh grayscales one might have the same I, i'd have to look up and see if grayscales hasn't been uh declined already i get the feeling like new york digital investment will probably be the one to get it because they're you know in that whole traditional finance space but grayscale is the biggest so really that probably should be one of the ones to get the first one as well but is this now pushed back till march because like I said, I thought this could happen in around about sort of February because they said late January to sort of February. Well, now maybe they've pushed back, been pushed back out. So now maybe I need to move this out to something like around about here. So maybe this is now what we're sort of looking at. Something like this. We'll have to wait and see. But there we go. Bitcoin has made it down to very low 38,000 and it's been doing this I've been watching this candle for a while going up going down uh, and all over the place but still going down and like I said I thought once we got into the low 40,000s with a proper candle body I thought we'd drop pretty quickly and significantly and we have so far and I don't think it's going to be too long until we get down to again 37,000 sort of 500 now this could be a bottom we may not get into here but it also may not be. You just, you've got to make your own minds up and you've got to be prepared to accept that you're never going to get it 100% correct. You might somehow fluke it and pick the absolute bottom. And if you do, congratulations, that's awesome. But just always keep in mind, what happens if you're wrong? If you've only got $1,000 to invest and you're like, well, I'm going all in at 34500 and it keeps going down to 12000 are you ready for that? If you're not, then my, again, never financial advice, just my personal opinion, is don't bet the farm, as they say, on any one price. DCA in. That's, that's my plan, my motto. Every time it gets down to a new price, I'm going to buy just a little bit more. And when it gets down to a lower price, I'm going to buy just a little bit more. And when it gets down to another lower price, I'm going to buy just a little bit more. Because eventually when the tide turns... And it always does, ladies and gentlemen. It just could take a long time. It could be years. Who knows? But when the tide turns, every time it gets to a place where you had previously bought it, you've just made some uh, extra money right there. You, you, your gains are exponential. Not so much when it gets to the point where you are, but you've basically doubled your money because you'd already bought it there before. So you've now got that money again. And then when it goes up, that's when it starts to be exponential. And again, I haven't bought any Bitcoin over, I think, 40, 
thousand dollars is the cheapest I've bought any Bitcoin. Forty thousand four hundred eighty dollars, and if this keeps going down, I'm going to buy some more at thirty-seven thousand, and it's not a lot of Bitcoin, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just be clear about that. Uh, I wouldn't put a lot of money in at any one price until it was really some kind of crazy low price. And to be honest, thirty-seven thousand is not that crazy a price. I don't know where it's going, but I got a, a again a buy order in there and just above thirty-four thousand five hundred. So I think it's something like it's in Australian dollars for a start, but I think it works out to about thirty-four thousand. Excuse me, five hundred and I don't know eighty-three dollars or something like that is where I've got a buy order. And then after that, if it continues to go lower, I just continue to go down the charts and find out, all right, next I'd be looking to put in a little bit of a buy order, probably somewhere around about here, I'd say, 27-ish thousand. Then I'd have a buy order in just around about there, sort of 24,000, sort of 500, let's say. And then I'd have a little bit of a buy order in just above this, 19,000, you know, let's say, 20,000 just above it and then again I'd keep going down I just keep finding spots like this and buying just a little bit higher I don't want to go lower because I'm trying to get them filled when you go lower if that's the bottom and you went just under here then you've missed it so I go just a tiny bit above it now that's how I'm doing it ladies and gentlemen you have to be an adult about this and you've got to do it how it works for you i don't want anyone to ever come back to me and say oh well you said to do this no i've never told you to do anything you got to do you and you need to live and die as they say by the sword i.e your own decisions i'm living and dying by mine i literally just bought some bitcoin not too long ago at forty thousand four hundred and eighty dollars it's now down at thirty eight thousand i'm not crying i'm not blaming anyone i'm not uh i mean you know I'm not upset about it. It would have been good to buy it a little bit lower. But again, I'm just going to go and buy a little bit more if it falls even lower. I'm more than happy with that. DCA on the way down. And when things start to get crazy and go exponentially high and are breaking into new all-time highs, that's when I start to take a little bit of profits to hopefully do the same thing again. When it turns into another corrective phase, I can continue to buy it on the way down until it starts to go back up and break into price discovery. Because really at the moment, I'm happy to continue to buy Bitcoin all the way down to the bottom, whatever it is, and all the way back up to probably around, I'd just say 69,000 in all fairness. I'll be happy to buy to 69,000. Now it may get rejected from there and bounce around for a while, but eventually it will break out. That's what things do. And then again, the gains are exponential when you've done that. But I'm not here to tell you what to do. Again, I'm just here to let you know what I'm doing. I'd love to know your thoughts down below. Are you buying at the moment? Are you holding? And how low do you think it's going to go if you think it's going lower? All right, that's it for me, ladies and gentlemen. Very interesting times. And again, I get, I'm get i more excited when it goes down than I am when it goes up because it means I've got more of a chance to buy more at cheaper prices. And my conviction is solid with Bitcoin and with crypto in general. I just can't tell you exactly which cryptos other than Bitcoin. Bitcoin's here to stay. I know it's going to go back up at some stage. I just don't know when. But when it does, I will have been constantly buying on the way down. So when it does go up, I will be doing extremely well. That's it from me. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Pretty hard to be on that gain train at the moment, but if you're buying cheap, it'll pay off once it finally starts to go up. Not financial advice, and I'll see you next time.